Hello everyone, Yuki here, recording. Oh, sorry about that. With voices from the sea. New. New keys unlocked. Enter and down. Is down is next dialogue. Up is previous dialogue. Okay. A open close save. S open close load. Z open close item. X open or close sound. C open or close quit. Hold the key. Okay, whatever. Noises. I can hear nothing but vo noises. Like a radio without channels. Never ending buzzes. Disturbing my mind. I don't remember when I no longer had the desire to tune my channel. Whether it's at home. Cantus, how many times do I have to tell you not to do that? Now listen, I'm telling you to this for your own sake. Don't you dare talk back to me. Or it's cool. Hey Cantus, have you heard of this rumor? That boy in the other class, he went to the beach and... Come on, don't be such a bore, listen to what I have to say. Noises. There are nothing but noises after noise. They can only get louder with each passing by. Never let me go. It's pretty. <clears throat> the sea. It's as blue as ever. Lately, I've been visiting this place more often than usual. Very few people come here. Most kids my age prefer hanging out with their friends or playing video games. On the other hand, I could sit here all day listening to the fleeting waves, the sound of them hitting the shore, in and out, in and out. It's so mesmerizing. This is the only place where I could find solace. I don't have to hear any, any more noises. I don't have to tune my channels just to be part of others. I can just be myself. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Hey. Hey. Keep it down, says she I jumped out of my seat as a jolt, as if a jolt just sent down my spine. Huh? What did I just hear? The sound that broke the silence. Was that someone's voice? What a strange sensation. It was as though I haven't heard one in a long time. With all those noises around me lately, it's no wonder I felt that way. Hey! Can you hear me? Oh, cute. Finally. Finally, I got your attention. Unfamiliar figure stands in front of me. Girl my age. It's clear she's the source of that voice. The instant I saw her, I felt as though I just saw the blue sea. Not sure why. She's cute. What's her name? Huh? Once again, she caught me off guard. And a few seconds later, I thought her came my composure. Cantus. Cantus. She repeated what I just said to a pair of curious eyes. What a beautiful name. What? Are you serious? That was purity out of reflux. What is this girl saying? Sure, why not? She answered non chantically Cantus. 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 The more I say it, the more I like it. Don't you think so? I don't think so. I never heard anyone say that to me before. Not even my mom thinks that way. She probably came up with it when she saw it in the, while she was in the toilet. <laughs> Aren't you the serious type? It would be great if Candace could learn enough of it. Right. Aren't you the one too cheerful type? Too cheerful if I have to say. It would be great if you could tone down a bit. Upon hearing my answer, she freezes at the moment. A few seconds later, she burns and bursts into laughter. What's 
so funny. I was taken aback by her reaction. It's not uncommon for people to laugh at me. I usually brush it off and walk away when they do. But her voice echoes in the wind. It's strangely captivating. I can't look away. Let me guess. Santos doesn't have many friends. Not that I don't have many. I have none. Oh. Got a problem with that? No, not at all. I gotta be Kanta's first friend. Perfect, isn't it? <sighs> what? As usual, the response is out of ordinary. I was rendered speechless. Maris is my name. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you, Kanta's. No, I did it wrong. Voices. <sighs> this is my faithful encounter with her. A mysterious girl by the sea. I still remember those voices. Voices from the sea. Viva Incorporated presents. This is pretty. <clears throat> if you can't hear my voice very well. It's because of the head my microphone sucks. I wonder what kind of beach has white sand like that. Probably like the Caribbean or something. The, um, what is it called? I can't think of the word. She is the sea. I can't think of the word. What is from the sea? I'm going to try to upload a, a video at least three to four times a week if I can. Oh, skip prologue or opening movie. Okay. Left, first choice, up, second choice, right, third choice. I can just click on it. <laughs> Cute. Day one, voices from Missy. Music is drop in for a chat. Daytime. Maris is my name. Nice meeting you, Cantus. Maris. I repeated I repeated it in an attempt to register her name. Yep, Maris. Cantus and Maris, a match made in heaven, don't you think so? There she goes again. Speaking outlandish things like that, what all trains of discomfort. Stop it. This is embarrassing. Kentis is a big boy. Kentis is a big boy. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. I'm 13. I'm, st I'm 13. I'm still a kid. 13. What a coincidence. What? Are you saying the same age as me? Oh. Unlike you, Maris is a big girl. What kind of response is that? So, what's a 13-year-old kid doing all alone on the beach? Nothing. I'm just like staring at the sea. That's so embarrassing. Leave me alone. 
Once again, she crumbles my, my compo composure I've tried so hard to maintain. Look, I just don't sit here and do nothing. There are so many interesting things you can do here. For example, you can listen to the waves. They are so wonderful. That's it. Is that all you can? Is that all you can do? I look at her face and tell it. She can tell you that she's not convinced. And also look for seashells. What? Why look at me like that? Unable to bear the silence, I continue. The only things in this world that can rival the that can rival the beauty of the sea are seashells. Is there a problem with that? No. It's just that. That's so embarrassing. Leave me alone. I look away and attempt to hide my face. It's probably bright red now. I don't usually care about what, other, what others think of me. That's why my own reaction surpasses me more than anything. To think that a mere comment from a girl that I just barely met could make me feel so this blustered. This, no, this won't do. I'd better do something. Change the topic. Yeah, that's right. All I need to do is change the topic. How about you? Surely there's a reason why a big girl like you was here all alone on the beach. Me? I'm here because you're here. What? Marius has canted his first friend. Of course he has to be here at the place where he is. You can say you can you say more embarrassing stuff than I do. <laughs> I knew it. You're just making fun of me. Stupid me. I should expect that considering whom I'm dealing with, there's no way she would ever give me a normal response, would she? Look for seashells. That's right. I'll show her the seashells once I find her in this area. I'm sure even a weird girl like her can appreciate beautiful things. <clears throat> All right. Here goes nothing. Oh, I got a picket. Cool, found a, we found a coral work belt. That's pretty cool. Yes. All right, this should do. Hey, look what I have found. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Now you can make fun of me anymore. I was so confident that I, prematur I prematurely announced my victory. What are these? They look like fingers. Kinda of creepy, don't you think so? What? Look, the vibrant colors, the unique shape and textures. How can you call something as beautiful as this creepy? I resist in every fiber in my being. Look. Yeah, as it's as if she was poking fun at my read read I can't. She burst into laughter a few seconds later. Ours thinks it's pretty too. Can I have it? Uh, just take it. Yay! Thank you, Kansas. This girl, who's beyond my comparison, comprehension. I'm beginning to feel the futility in trying to understand her. It's getting late. I'm going home. Already? If I don't, Mom's gonna get nagged at me again. It's a pain, you see. I see. She looks disappointed. But can't this but can't this come again tomorrow? Yeah, but don't tell me you're coming too. Of course. Maris has yet to see Kent smile. Whoa whoa. Stop that. What are you doing? I've been hanging out with you all day, <clears throat> but you haven't smiled, not even once. I don't see any reason to. Only idiots smile for no reason. And I'll give you a reason. Give me seven days. I'll make you smile. Huh? Okay, Candace. You're weird. Like, seriously. Okay, Candace? Okay, okay, I got it. <coughs> Will you please stop? Yay! It's a promise. It's doing whatever, whatever you want. I will. I wonder why I didn't refuse her that day. I wore like the ocean waves sweeping, sweeping me away. I can only go along with it. Where will this, where will this current lead me? Time, only time can tell. 
Well, the report, Stormy. With him is a storm that never ends. Wow. Stay true. I'm actually going to leave this episode here. So, pasta la pasta, I guess. Bye.